Here at home with Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum, a bit warmer for Halloween, um, but I'm sure the kids don't mind at all. They're going to get out there and get some candy. <laughs> That's right. They're going to go through it. They're going to sweat through it, whatever. But it's <laughs> definitely warm and muggier this Halloween than we've been here lately. And unfortunately, Mother Nature is not going to cooperate. It's been dry for 33 days practically across Alabama, and now when we don't want it to rain, it's bringing in rain, right? Great job, Mother Nature. But rain and storms are going to impact west and northwest Alabama for trick or treating tonight. This is what you need to know between 6 and 9 o'clock tonight. Those kiddos will need the poncho and probably the rain boots as they go door to door there this evening. East of I-65, including Birmingham, be dry. Now, everyone will have temperatures in the 70s out there. So let's break it down for you right now. Again, I-65 East, no rain to speak of. You go off to the north here, that's where temperatures are even dropping to 64 now. In Hamilton, 80 Fayette to 82 here in town. And you can see those showers continuing to build in. Notice this skinny little line here right through here coming through Vernon. That's an outflow boundary. As that moves to the south toward Fayette, it will spark off additional showers. Already a few streaming up toward Fayette and Barry, betting heading back over to Port Hamilton, Gouin area, Double Springs, Hackleburg, getting in on some of this rain. So we really need the rain, but just wasn't the night we wanted to have it, right? But unfortunately, these areas are going to be impacted more by that than the rest of us here as we go throughout the rest of the evening. So again, northwest and western Alabama will see the rain out there that eventually this whole system will move through, but the energy from it that's keeping it going is lifting well off to the north, and that's going to allow a lot of this rain to fall apart overnight tonight. But we still possibly could see some here in the Birmingham area. So where's the rain now? Again, off there to the northwest, the Orange counties after 8 o'clock, Yellow counties, if any rain at all be after 10 o'clock tonight for you. So with that in mind, the highest chance of rain there already Hamilton, 90%, 80% fade, 60% Jasper and back toward Tuscaloosa. I have 40% Birmingham likely after trick or treating is done. So again, here in town, looking at that low chance of rain at 20% as we fall down into the 70s for the evening hours. So here's how it looks on Tuscaloosa right now. No rain to speak of yet, but cloudy 83, very humid. The dew point of 66 degrees for you and future cast will show that we're going to have that rain continuing from 6 o'clock through the 8 o'clock time frame. Again, most areas from I-65 to the east will be dry. The rain will continue over the western part of the state through 11 o'clock tonight. Then it moves into Birmingham overnight, but notice it does fall apart here. Still some lingering rain tomorrow morning off to the north as our front continues to slip its way closer to the city. So we will have some showers tomorrow around 20-30% chance of rain out there. Front more or less dies and falls apart by Friday evening for the high school football games. And then we're left with some cloud cover out there, so it doesn't look bad for those Friday night games. Rain totals uh, maybe a tenth of an inch here. In Birmingham, but look at this Coleman a quarter inch, Jasper a half an inch, Hamilton maybe fifth, three quarters of an inch of much needed rain. The new drought update came today, and all of us practically in a moderate drought right now, so we do desperately need the rain. And unfortunately, not expected for the weekend, but look at this. 83 degrees, potentially record high temperatures for both Saturday and Sunday. So get ready for that. How about some college football games? UAB at home, 77 to kick off at 130. And Auburn's taking on Vandy 1145 there down to the Plains. 76 degrees, looking pretty good for those games this week. And anything else going on for that matter. So we do have that rain tonight, about a 40% chance. Few showers tomorrow, we'll say 20% during the day. So 40% morning, 20% during the afternoon. Weekend, again, very warm. Don't forget to turn the clocks back one hour to gain that extra hour of sleep out there this weekend. And next week, we stay unseedly warm. More record highs potentially Monday and Tuesday for Election Day. And we stay in the 80s on Wednesday with another front bringing us some.